Shay Russell from mining.com.au and joining me today is Gavin Lloydon, the Managing Director for QEM. Gavin, how are you today? Oh, fantastic. And yourself, Shay? Not too bad. Uh, listen, I see that you're at a conference in Queensland. I'm at a conference in Sydney. I'm glad we could spend a couple of minutes together talking about the stunning scoping study details that you have released today for the Julia Creek Project in northwest Queensland. Uh, talk me through some of the highlights of this project. Yeah, look, we're very excited. This is a, has been a very, very lengthy piece of work for us, uh, years in the making, um, uh, and we're very proud of the work that's gone into it and, and is behind it. It's, it's quite a lengthy piece of work for a, for a scoping study, um, described by our uh, consultants, RPM Global, as a, as a scoping study on steroids. So it goes a long way into what would normally be PFS work based on our, our, our own test work, and our own pilot plant work. Uh, so... It will shorten our PFS phase, which will be the next thing we get into. But, um, yeah, we're very proud of it. Uh, tell me, Gavin, now that you've released the scoping study, many years of work, so this is a bit of an unfair question, what comes next? Well, we're half of this scoping study really leans into pre-feasibility work. So we'll just continue that journey now. Um, we've got some work that we're doing with, with UQ and with Core Resources, which will take us up. There's an interim piece there will take us up to... Um, proper feasibility, if you like, but we are well down that track already. We've got environmental work that's been going on for 12 months. We've been, uh, you know, working through a, a lot of the different process, flood modelling, um, uh, eco baseline work, all of that sort of thing that you need. So we're not starting from scratch with the PFS. We're, we're quite considerably down the track, particularly from the processing side. Uh, and finally, I wouldn't mind addressing a bit of a furphy made on my behalf, and that was immediately when we started speaking, I assumed if you're out in northwest Queensland that this is some sort of base metals copper play, but instead QEM is actually looking for vanadium, and there's oil available as well. Tell me, this is a particularly unique project. How did how did you stumble across this? Look, look it is a unique project. Um, our point of difference between some of between us and some of the other vanadium proponents up in, in Queensland. Uh, and you'll find us quite tightly grouped uh, in, to the point where the Queensland government has created a, a critical mineral zone between Julia Creek and Richmond. And there's about six of us up there at the moment uh, uh, with various states of development. Um, where our point of difference is that we are in the what they call the fresh rock, which has uh, a, an oil content to it. it. It's all oil shale based. It's a sedimentary deposit. Uh, and we are looking to take the uh, extract the oil from that uh, material and, and turn that into a low sulphur diesel. Uh, and the way we describe it is that it's only regionally important for, for, for oil production. It, we're talking less than 4% of the state's requirements for diesel, but it's globally significant for vanadium because we would be looking to produce about 10,500 tonnes uh, at full production, uh, and that's globally significant. Uh, listen, Gavin, this sounds like a, a very exciting project. Uh, and as you so rightly pointed out, it's highly unusual as well. But I want to say congratulations on the scoping study and pointing to the long-term viability of what you're working on. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate your uh, interest and uh, look forward to speaking to you next time.